What's up baseball players, Dan Blewett here. Today, let's cover a pretty interesting topic. I grew up with this, you might have grown up with this, it's the towel drill. So the towel drill is one of the classic drills for pitchers to do, but the big question is, is it an effective drill for pitchers? All right, so today again, we're gonna cover the towel drill. Should you be using it? Is it good for your mechanics? Is it bad for your mechanics? What's the deal with the towel drill? So if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that red subscribe button today. I put out new videos each week. So if you're interested in pitching and baseball and learning the mental side of the game from a high level player like myself, definitely consider subscribing. And you can follow me on social media. I'm at Coach Dan Blewett on pretty much every platform you can imagine, a lot of social media. Okay, so the towel drill today. So here I've got a t-shirt. I folded it over in half. So already we're, uh, we're off to a good start. You know, there's a ton of different ways to hold the towel when you're doing the towel drill. You can sort of fold it over and put it between your fingers. Um, I know there's a new device on the market, which seems like it's a much more comfortable way to do it. It sort of puts like a ball in your hand. Um, I actually made a little device when I was in college. I took a wiffle ball, I drilled through it, and you could actually pull, it was actually pretty clever, if, um, if I do say so myself, you could pull a shirt or a towel through the wiffle ball, and then would hold it kind of like, a, like a, a Kleenex box. And then I had put these two little Velcro rings on it so it would stay in my hand like a ball. So if you want to go patent that idea, be my guest. I had no interest, interest in patenting it back in the day. But I did a lot of towel drills as a player in college. I did them in my, in my dorm. I did them in my apartment when I moved off campus. Um, that was all I knew, and it was what good coaches told me to do, right? So it's something, one of those drills that we all grew up with. And, but now I think it's falling out of favor. So here's the thing that I didn't like about the towel dri drill because I do not do it much anymore. It's been at least probably a year since I've given it to a kid to do. Um, I think it can still have some context. I think it can still have some merit depending on what we're trying to accomplish because anything, any drill, any little tool that I use is just, again, a tool to help a player feel something that they need, then need to integrate and fold into and improve in their own mechanics. So the towel drill can still be used effectively for that, but I don't really use it much and here's why. So the biggest thing for me, and again, maybe this one new product on the market helps solve that, is that the feel is very off. So you have to like put it between your fingers, you can like knot it up, you know, there's lots of different ways that you can do it, but the feel just doesn't feel like a baseball, right? Number two, we, uh, when you swing it, when you throw it, it really catches the air, right? There's a bunch of wind resistance. So when I'm going through my motion, this never felt super natural to me. Uh, it, you know, depending on where you are in your backswing, it's gonna just sort of either have no resistance at all or then it's something gonna have a ton of resistance as it catches the wind and you start to accelerate. The other thing is this towel flops up and down depending on what my arm is doing. So it just might just sort of be like flipping and flopping. There's no sort of way to keep it firm and then to get it to accelerate and kind of like catch some resistance when I want it to. So for me, this was a thing that I did because I didn't know what there was better to do. But the more I did it, the more I was like, this just makes me feel dissatisfied with faking these throws right now, doing this dry work. Um, and mostly just because of the way it catches the wind, it, it'll sort of flutter depending on how big the towel is. It just sort of like drags your arm off course sometimes. You know, I've heard different coaches say that it like causes a low elbow or that it can have a negative effect on your mechanics. And I don't know that there's a lot of strong evidence for that. I don't know that if you do some towel drills at home, it's gonna hurt your mechanics. I don't really think that's the case. I don't think there's a whole lot you can do that if you're working hard is gonna be like, oh, he's doing towel drills at home, that's why he's not a very good pitcher. That's definitely not the case. Like if you're motivated to do dry work at home and work on your mechanics, there's a lot of other stuff, just repeating your delivery, developing body control. Those are all valuable things that you're gonna get and this being in your hand is probably not gonna ruin all that, right? Like I got good in college because in part, I just went home and practiced my mechanics in a mirror like 20, 30 minutes a night. I did that religiously because I didn't know much about mechanics. And so all I knew was I want to get super good at repeating what it is that I already do. And I did that with a towel sometimes. I did it just with my arm other times. I did it with my little invention other times. Now I typically use a water bottle. That's typically what I give to my lessons clients, to my pitchers. Um, and I feel like that has a more realistic feel. So I'll do another video and cover that. And once that's done, look for it in the, the, the show notes, the description um, of this, uh, this video. But I think my take home is the towel drill just never felt very realistic for me. Uh, the way it catches the wind, the way it'll kind of flutter, the way the resistance kind of comes and goes based on the orientation of the towel. Um, I just felt like it's just not, 
the best way to train my arm action and the way I finish and all that stuff. You can certainly use it for extension. You know, you reach out, you hit a towel or you hit your towel off of a, a chair, but I'm just not sure it's the best tool for the job. So hopefully this video helped. Again, I'm not discouraging you from using a towel. Uh, I do think using a water bottle in your hand is a little bit better way to do it. But again, if you're motivated to do something at home, you're gonna work on your mechanics, you're gonna develop more consistency by putting in the work. If this is the tool of choice, I think that's perfectly fine. So make sure if you're practicing at home, try different things out, continue to tinker, and you'll eventually find the thing that you okay, this is what I feel like really helps me as a player and I'm gonna put more of my eggs in that basket, all right? So again, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on social media. I'm at Coach Dan Blewett, and I'll catch you in the next video.